I'm Jason. I'm an addict and an alcoholic. Hey, Jason. <laughs> Grateful to be sober today. And uh, I first started, uh, let's see, and uh, I first started smoking weed when I was 13 years old. And it made me uh, feel really smart <laughs> because I was in the learning center classes all growing up. So I always thought I wasn't uh, smart. And uh, it, um, it was hard for me to be in the learning center classes. I always felt apart from my friends. I was good in sports and started playing guitar and when I was 12. And something about that, I won't glamorize it, but something about that first hit um, got me uh, feeling, feeling like I was smart and feeling like I was uh, almost like a grown-up in a way like I was my own me I didn't have it was all, I was away from my parents and so I was you know it was magical for me um, and then uh, through uh, 14 15 about 16 years old I started doing acid I was always really off. I was I had a lot of friends in high school, and women didn't like me in junior high school because I was a very loud and obnoxious, high. And, uh, um, I remember a couple times in high school, I would uh, I was sober for a week, and I and I remember thinking, man, I'm more, I'm a lot more funny when I'm sober. I get more people laughing, and that. That obviously didn't. So anyways, yeah, you know, acid and mushrooms and alcohol. I drank, I drank 20 beers, 20 beers a day easily. I mean, every weekend I would have like 20 beers at a setting and uh, crashed a couple cars by then. Parents would always bail me out. And, uh, so at 17, I started going to AA and all the A's, NA, and all. Actually, back then, it was probably just AA. And uh, I went to a meeting called the 12 and 12 in Bothell, Washington. And uh, I met a lot of great people there. I went there because I had an ex-girlfriend that was going. So I went and. My parents wanted me to go to because I was always grounded as a kid. And uh, so I went to that meeting and uh, at 18 or 17 or 18 and never, uh, never got a sponsor, got, would get normally, I'd get about a month of sobriety, not take it serious. I, I, I've always just gone to meetings get a month of sobriety or be stoned, weed, my drug of choice in meetings, drink the coffee and uh, just a, without any, any step work or anything like that, no sponsor or anything. But, um, and I just went to a lot of meetings. I've, I've worked about five years of my life, just gone to meetings the whole time. Um, and got high. I've had two years twice. Um, a lot of wreckage, a lot of, I've crashed six cars. Uh, I've been to six inpatients, a lot of lying to my parents, a lot of, a lot of losing my, a lot of consequences. And uh, I, I have a lot of experience in the program on what not to do. And uh, it's actually helped me out today to stay sober, believe it or not. Um, so, so a lot of wreckage, a lot of close calls, the drugs got worse. So I'm gonna fast 
forward to about um, <laughs> I'm gonna fast forward to uh, thank you um, about two years ago COVID happened and I made it about me poor me I can't go anywhere I started smoking crystal meth um, and when I, in reverse, I was, when I was 22, I was diagnosed with schizophrenia. They don't know if it was from doing the acid or not. They don't have it. So I've always taken my meds and, uh, sorry. I, uh, I'll go in psychosis. It's like playing Russian roulette. Every time I've relapsed on weed, I'll going to psychosis, up my meds just a little bit. Um, but anyways, so COVID happened. I started smoking meth. This was two years ago. And I dabbled around. I don't know how many times I've done it. 50 or something-ish. And uh, I, I got into a psychosis when I was uh, about eight months ago from smoking weed and meth. And I never want to feel like that again. I never want to feel powerful like that. Like, cause in my head, I could tell the future afraid, <clears throat> terrified, excuse me, alone, um, disconnected. And, uh, and over the years, a lot of people have tried to help me out and I've, I just kind of, I wanted to do it my way and run the show. Well, the show got me hopefully a deal breaker in smoking math. And uh, so that, like I said, that was about eight months. Uh, that was two years ago when I started dabbling with weed. And then eight months ago, I got in that psychosis. And uh, so, I, so I, I got in the psychosis. I went into inpatient and went to a Lala Native American inpatient. This was uh, like eight months ago. And, uh, or I'm sorry, yeah, this was uh, six months ago. I have seven months and nine days of sobriety with a sponsor, finally. I got a sponsor, I was due. And, uh, you know, I got out of my psychosis. I'm not in a psychosis, I'm an inpatient. I've, and uh, now, uh, my uh, it's it's tremendously different in my life. Uh, I have a clear conscience. I have a lot of. I haven't seen shit yet, but I really like what I'm getting in sobriety. I mean, I'm get starting to get a clear conscience. I'm praying every day. Uh, when I go to bed at night, I'm not thinking about how I'm gonna screw you over to get more high uh i i have oh, i have a son he's 22 years old now and i i wasn't mentally there for him i was physically there a lot of times um we go play guitar all the time and um i see i hang out with him once a week i tell him i'm proud of him all the time uh, it's like a country song in reverse it, it's uh, I have a life worth protecting today, and now I, now I see why you go to a step study meeting and, and you do the steps. I did the steps off the wall, and I got off the wall results, and it almost fucking, uh, excuse me, it almost killed me. And uh, now it's just like my sponsor. Uh, oh, I'm not gonna say his name, but he uh, <laughs> he teaches me that recovery is a gift, and. Uh, he says the slower I at this, probably the better with the steps. And um, I mean, my relationship with my parents is the trust is almost back. I still take UAs. I take weed UAs, yeah, which is good. It keeps me on the straight and narrow, but we, they're my friends now. Um, there's just so many. And I, and I don't, after all that, I don't want to do the work all the time, but um, it, 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 every time I do the work, I never regret it. And I, I usually, I usually do the work, but 
it might take me a second to do something, but the uh, the rewards is unbelievably amazing. Uh, and also sober, I'm more. Uh, I've never been this happy in my life having a sponsor. <laughs> I most of my day I'm joking around. I work at I work at a restaurant. and I'm a busser, and a lot of those people are hungover or smoking weed at work and uh, they don't they know they don't smoke in front of me but i'm just <laughs> i get my i do the halt i get my sleep and i have a good attitude and i work hard and so anyways um yeah i really pay attention in meetings now because i don't want i want to be the best version of me i could be and uh, even though I've almost died numerous times, me and my higher power, are I thank him for being alive every day. And I don't always want to pray every day. Every I, But I know I, uh, I do my grateful prayers. And my grateful prayers is easy for me to do, usually. And that sets the ball rolling to pray for my winning friends. I only hang out with people in recovery. And then on a really good day, I'll or, or night, I'll pray for people that piss me off in the day. <laughs> and that's a little trickier for me to do, but the results is magnificent. I mean, I, <laughs> um, yeah. So and I and uh, yeah, I'm a student in here. Like I said, I'm a I'm, uh, and people that are high in a meeting, drunk in a meeting. Not only do I have not a right to <laughs> be a hypocrite, uh, I can learn from them. I'm a student. I, I can learn from anybody. And although it's, I'd rather learn from other people, but um, I really take this serious now. And uh, um, yeah, so I mean, if, if you're really early in sobriety, if you think you can't, do it if you can't be strong in your day and stay sober. I mean, if I could do it <laughs> uh, one second, one minute at a time, a lot of this is. And uh, I just want to, um, I just want to say that I appreciate there's a meeting here and I'm kind of rambling now, but uh, yeah, yeah. Um, that's about all I have. Thank you. Thank you.